Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. What's going on, guys? I am on my way to the booth right now because I got some heat. I got some fire. I need to get some things up off my chest. 2K. Where are we going this year? I just want to know. Where are we going? I got the hottest beat in the world about to drop right now. I need y'all to rock with me, man. Y'all ready? Yeah. So today, I just happened to be on Twitter, you know, doing what I usually do. And I seen that Mike Wang was out here tweeting again. So I went on to his Twitter, checked the Twitter and everything like that. And I was like, you know what? When is patch five coming out? So I noticed that he did respond to a fan on the 20th saying, hey, yo, you know what? It's finished on our end. We're going to go through it. It's going to go through the submission process. Now, we all know usually when a dev team is at work hard, they don't tweet. I told you guys this in my where's patch five video. I said, hey. Why hasn't nobody tweeted over the weekend? We still out here promoting 2K. It's the greatest game in the world, but with all these flaws, and they're still getting microtransactions and everything like that. And Mike Wang said, you know what? We got things handled. We're waiting for the approval. It's going to get pushed out to every console, hopefully PC and Switch as well, and everything will be dandy. But then I realized that Mike Wayne wasn't done. This man had the audacity to tweet some foolishness. Now, as far as patch five goes, we do not know the patch details. And I'm kind of mad about that because I feel like as a community, we should have the patch notes before they drop so that everybody could be in anticipation on finding out when the patch drops, what needs to be fixed and everything like that. Now, me being a gamer, I've been a gamer for more than half my life. I understand that when video games used to come back out in the old days, you got what you got. That was the final product. But now some games feel like they can drop a product and gradually add on to that product to make it the product that it should have been at release date. Now... As far as all the microtransactions and problems that people have been having, losing players and everything like that, I pray for you guys wholeheartedly, but I really want to know, is Patch 5 going to fix everything that it broke as soon as Patch 4 came out? So, let me tell you guys about what I've seen on Twitter. Mike Wayne had the audacity to ask, should heavily contested shots be nerfed? He should be slapped. You understand me? When I first made my player, no, you know what? I'm not even going to jump into that. I'm appalled that 39% of you guys said that yes in park and pro-am. And I am disturbed that 13% of you said just in park. It should be 100% no across the board. When I made my player, I chose to have my wingspan maxed out to hit more contested shots. You shouldn't nerf something that you gave people an option to do. If you nerf shots, my max contested wingspan, whatever you gave me when I made my player, will be null and void. The only people that are complaining are people with short wingspans that focus on the L2 and automatic auto contest helping them play defense. No, learn how to clamp up. If you got T-Rex arms, go make another player. If you got max wingspan, but you got low defense, you chose that build. That's why there are two-way players in the world like Kawhi Leonard. Not everybody can play defense. Stop trying to blame shooting and that shooting should be nerfed because you can't play defense. Yo, literally, heavily contested shots are something only a few like builds have, like pure playmakers. Oh, man, believe in it. Pure sharps believe in it they need contested shots because sometimes they can't even hit open shots i'm just saying man what do you guys think in the comment section are, are you guys even like feeling the same way i feel do everybody feel like contested shots should not be nerfed i'm just saying i hit a high amount of contested shots i have max wingspan when i had shorter arms it was kind of ugly for me 
So I made a new player. I did what I had to do. And for anybody who watched my first official stream of NBA 2K18, the full game, we know that I made, I think, two to three characters that stream. I'm just saying. I figured it out early. Some people figured it out late. But one thing that we all can agree on, you cannot take away the success rate of heavily contested shots not only did patch 4 break shooting it broke success rates so now you're telling us that you want to keep it the way it is basically that's basically what you want to do you want to keep it the way it is and pro-am team pro-am and all that and you just want to make it full circle because there's something inside the the coding that is keeping it that way and you guys can't find it for right now so don't try to get the people on your side and say, yeah, 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 you guys should take down contested shots. No, don't try to do that to us. People of the community, gamers, consumers, customers, do not let 2K divide us. I repeat, do not let 2K divide us. These polls and everything like that, they're just trying to get a feel for who in the community wants what. And I'm telling you right now, if we make the wrong decision, we will have to deal with this for the full cycle of this game. So I repeat, do not let 2K divide us, okay? If you're hitting contestant shots, you should not be mad. Don't be mad when a person hits a contestant shot in your face, but you come down and hit another contestant in their face. You can't be mad at that. Do not let 2K divide us. Hashtag do not let 2K divide us. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys subscribe. This is your boy IKC signing out. And please, guys, don't forget, subscribe to my reaction channel, IKC Reacts. Link inside the description. I holla.